another nutritionist approved grocery haul. If you are new around here, my name is Molly Mason. I am a holistic nutritionist and I am here to help you feel better in your body so you can show up brighter in your life. If you want tangible and realistic tips for a wellness journey that's marked with peace and freedom, you're in the right place, hit subscribe below. Today, I am sharing with you an Aldi haul. I know you guys like the grocery hauls. Now this is not necessarily a here's what I bought for the week kind of haul. This is a I walked into this grocery store, I scoured the aisles, I really paid attention to ingredients, to quality, and I'm gonna give you my report. Now Aldi is not a grocery store that I typically frequent, but it is one that I heard from you guys that you like to shop at, and they are known for their budget-friendly options. So I'm excited to share with you the nutritionist approved items I found at this budget-friendly grocery store. We're just gonna go with whatever is at the top of the bag here. First item is Parmesan crisp. I wouldn't exactly call this a health food, but the ingredients, pretty simple. Cheese. We all know that I am a crunch girl. I do love me a Parmesan crisp every once in a while. Next, we've got these breakfast sausages. Chicken apple maple breakfast sausage. It does say chicken raised without antibiotics, hormones, with a vegetarian diet. Vegetarian diet doesn't really mean that much. They could still be fed corn and things that we don't necessarily love our chickens to be eating. But you know, if you watch my What I Eat In A Day vlogs, I'm a very big fan of chicken sausage to add to breakfast. One of my top nutrition tips, my top hormone balance tips, eat a lot of protein in the morning. Okay, this was another fun one. I'm not gonna lie. Most of the packaged processed foods did not meet my standards, were not something that I would bring home into my home. And if you're new around here, I'll give you some context into me and my approach to nutrition. I really focus on quality of ingredients. I try to take a real whole foods approach to nutrition. I like to buy organic and quality whenever I can, but I'm also very realistic. I know that when we chase perfection we always set ourselves up for failure because perfection does not exist so I like to be realistic in what I recommend to you what I bring into my own life and a boundary that works for me is I'm really cautious about what I bring into my home and what I consider items that I want to have in my home that I want to nourish myself with on a consistent basis most of the packaged processed foods really anywhere not just at Aldi are not something that I would like to purchase and bring in but in Anytime I can find something that's like pretty great, I call that a win. These are fun, I grabbed, oh wait, that's something else. I grabbed both flavors, I figured we'd try both the chocolate and vanilla. These are coconut cashew crisps, crisps, now I have celiac disease and Hashimoto's. Because of that, I am entirely gluten-free. Everything you'll see here is gluten-free. But one thing I noticed on here, just a little pro tip for you, when you're reading these packages, gluten-free only means so much. Like, yeah, that's a necessity for me, but gluten-free items can still be filled with garbage. These say paleo. I was pretty strictly paleo for a long time, but I have now come to the good side of loving fruits, of loving quality grass-fed dairy. I can't imagine in my life without cheese. But any packaged item that says paleo is often a trigger for me to assume almost always that it's got pretty great ingredients because paleo is naturally filtering out a ton of the garbage that we often throw in this stuff. These have coconut cashews, coconut sugar, cassava flour, sea salt, natural vanilla flavor, natural almond flavor. That's where it's not perfect because natural flavor can really mean anything. Overall, Really excited to try these. Actually, why don't we go ahead and do a live taste test. Mmm, that's pretty good. It's definitely coconut forward, which is the first ingredient. I'm like a little sensitive to that like shredded coconut texture, but perfectly sweet, crunchy. Definitely a great treat. All right, next. Pasta. I grabbed two pastas. This one is this Live G Free brand. So all of their items are gluten free, but I looked at a lot of the Live G Free items and a lot of them just, again, still had some garbage in it. But this pasta is just organic brown rice and organic quinoa. And actually this is very similar to one of my favorites from Trader Joe's. I would not be surprised if that's white labeled this. And then I also grabbed this one, chickpea. Bonza pasta is a very popular chickpea pasta. It has gums that I don't love because they can be really destructive to the gut lining, which I talked all about in my gut glow course. If you want help healing your gut, 
I walk you through exactly how to do that and I teach you what ingredients to look for. I'm a big fan of chickpea pasta as an option to get high protein, high fiber pasta. Pasta is fun. This one's great. Only ingredient chickpea. Another packaged item, almond flour crackers. Now the biggest culprit for most packaged items, especially crackers, even if they're like almond flour, nuts and seeds or whatever, the biggest culprit almost always is the oils that they use. They almost always have vegetable or seed oils. Now, Again, I don't like to live in fear. I don't chase perfection, but seed oils and high polyunsaturated fatty acids that are very reactive in our bodies, that is one of the highest priorities for me and things that I do avoid. Pleasantly surprised to see these didn't have any gross processed oils in them. Pretty simple ingredients, basically almond flour and cheese with some everything but bagel vibe seasoning. So try those out. Oh, and then these crackers too, cauliflower, cheddar flavor. This is an example. This one has palm oil. It also has maltodextrin, which is a secret name for sugar. Not perfect, but way better than cheese it So, you know, let's see. Oh, another packaged item I found that was really exciting to see was these Epic bars. I've shared in my Trader Joe's videos, I'm a huge fan of chomps. I get asked frequently about the protein bars that I recommend, and honestly, almost all of them are garbage. I would prefer to eat a beef stick over a processed, garbage-filled, fake sugar, processed protein powder protein bar. But protein is a high priority for me, especially in snacks. These Epic bars are really quality ingredients. 100% grass-fed beef. They're definitely pricier, of course, because I did, I sat there and I looked through a ton of the beef jerkies and stuff that they had right next to these, and they just had not such great ingredients. These are more expensive, but they can be a really great on-the-go option for some protein. All right, let's talk dairy. I... I mean, let's be real. Dairy is one of those things where so many people think it is the devil. We've been told by magazines for the last 10 years that dairy is just the worst thing ever. It's not true, but quality really does matter. Conventional dairy, the vast majority of dairy that's on the shelves at the grocery stores is indeed not great for you. It will indeed cause digestive issues and acne and all those things that we know quality matters. Was not a fan of most of the dairy that I saw, but I did grab some Gruyer, however you say it, this kind of Swiss cheese. <laughs> this one doesn't explicitly say grass fed or anything like that, but it is imported from Switzerland. Quality of farming is better there. Also, goat cheese is generally a safer, more digestible, more bioavailable option. So if you struggle with lactose intolerance or dairy intolerance, goat cheese is a great place to start. And honestly, I love these goat cheeses that have these preserves on top. <sighs> I've never bought this one specifically from Aldi, but I've bought this before at Costco and Trader Joe's. I basically always have this in my fridge because we host friends at our house a lot. And and I always like to put out some goat cheese, some cheese and crackers. These are great. Let me see, there was one. Yep, here it is. I was really excited to see this. They had three different kinds of this Irish cheddar from grass-fed cows. Pretty decent price too for grass-fed cheese. So I got the vintage because I like it sharp. I did buy a pineapple. I will say just looking through the produce, it did not look like the best quality. That doesn't surprise me, right? Aldi is not going to get the same kind of rotation, the same kind of quality local produce, but I mean, this just looked cute. If Aldi is what you can afford, what you have access to, go for it. Perfect bars. I also shared these in my Trader Joe's video. They are so so delicious. It can be a great on-the-go option. They also had quite a few selections of kombucha. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I used to pound the kombucha. I would buy it at Costco in bulk and I would drink like a quarter to a half a day. It's been over a year since I've had kombucha. I mean, I enjoy it, so I was excited to try this one. If you enjoy the occasional fun beverage, kombucha can be a great option. Oh, and with that, they actually had some juices. Another pro tip here, you have to be really careful with juices. The vast majority of them do have added sugars and garbage that you just don't need. Like, this is fruit juice. I don't need added sugar. It's already got plenty. But I do like to buy fruit juices for my gut gummies. I have that recipe. It's hardly a recipe because it is literally so simple. But if you are struggling with eating breakfast in the mornings or if you just want like a super easily digestible snack to get healthy carbs and protein in to keep your blood sugar balanced throughout the day, gut gummies can be great. And I do often like to go for a blend like this. So this was organic, just straight fruit juice and a pretty good price. Oh, and buy the kombucha. They also had 
some ginger shots, which are always fun. I think they might be a little bit cheaper at Trader Joe's. I'm not entirely positive on that. Mango, this is exciting. I was pretty disappointed when I walked by and saw the whole aisle of nuts and seeds and like dried fruit. I was excited until I looked through the ingredients and almost all of them were cooked in seed oils or had added sugars and a bunch of stuff. But then I did find this and this was actually not with the rest of the dried mango. It was like in another section. I don't really know why. This brand specifically just had mango. They also had one that had chocolate drizzle on it, which sounded kind of good. I typically, if I'm gonna buy this, I get it from Trader Joe's, which I shared in that video too. So I'd have to do a price comparison to see. One of my favorite road trip snacks. All right, now let's talk meat again. The vast majority of what I saw, not the best quality, but I was pleasantly surprised to see some good options. They did have this 100% grass-fed ground beef, which was actually a really great price. Super impressed with that. I also grabbed this oven roasted chicken breast, sliced deli meat. It's not free range pasture raised bird, which is typically what I would prioritize, but I do like to have this on hand often for just like a super quick snack. Wrap it up in a wrap for lunch. Okay, now these are actually the first items I grabbed in the store, cauliflower crust pizza no this is not perfect ingredients I don't know if it's possible to find a pre-made pizza that doesn't have ingredients that I don't love it was a pretty good price be good for a movie night or something they had pepperoni and a veggie one and then lastly I was so pleasantly surprised to see these Kevin's natural foods meals I've purchased multiple versions of these from Costco before they kind of like seem to have them on rotation but these are both paleo which again I'm not standing behind the fact that you need a paleo diet but generally if something says paleo it's going to have pretty quality ingredients in it chicken penne a la vodka and cilantro lime chicken really great options if you don't like to cook if you don't have time to cook I'm a big fan of keeping things like this on hand just so you don't have that excuse. You can nourish your body well with like absolutely no prep. Oh, actually last thing here. Lesser Evil, pretty great brand. I've enjoyed popcorn and a few things I've tried from them. I've never seen these before. Light and fluffy organic corn puffs. They call them space balls. This is the cinnamon sugar. I do like seeing that this is made with avocado oil instead of a seed oil. Again, it's got organic flavor. Who knows what that means, but. Oh my gosh, just smelling it, it smells like a churro. I like literally just melted in my mouth. It's reminding me of a childhood cereal. Which one? Pretty good. Okay, so that was everything that I brought home with me, but I took some photos of some honorable mentions I figured I'd share with you too because they weren't things that I needed, so I did not bring them home. But just to alert you to some other great options that I saw in case you are heading to Aldi, know that these are also Molly Mason approved. They did have two versions of grass-fed ghee, so I was happy to see that. They have the Carrington brand, which I have had before and it's pretty good. Then they also had Fourth and Heart, which is truly the best ghee I've ever tried in my life. Definitely way more expensive though, so. I also saw Chosen Foods Avocado Oil, which is a brand that I like. They've got quality organic, but they had other ones too. So I've shared this before in my Costco haul. When you're buying oils, it is super important to look for a dark container. Glass is definitely preferred, but for example, I often buy my avocado oil and olive oil in bulk at Costco, and those are not in glass jars. They're in plastic jars, but they are dark. Okay, they also had some really great bulk options for pantry items like flax seeds, chia seeds, and almond flour. All items that are in my pantry right now, I just didn't need to restock on them. I saw a 100% pure raw and unfiltered local honey. That was exciting to see. Now with nut butters, anytime you see a peanut butter or an almond butter or anything that says no stir, 100% that is going to have palm oil or something in it that you just don't need. You want your nut butters to be purely nuts and salt. I did see that with the creamy peanut butter. Butter. And then I was like, oh, probably the same with this almond butter right next to it. But no, the almond butter had palm oil in it. They also had grass-fed butter, which I didn't need because I buy that from Costco, but pretty decent price. If you're shopping at Aldi, great grass-fed butter. One of my absolute favorite healthy fats to cook with, to enjoy. Is there anything better than butter? I mean, seriously. Now, bone broth. Let's talk about this. I was so excited to see bone broth and it even said free range, which is a really good sign. Pasture raised is like the highest tier 
of what it means to care for quality chickens. Free range, I would say, is below that, but much better than even just like organic or cage free. That doesn't really mean that much. They're still probably hardly getting out in the sun or eating grass. But unfortunately, both the chicken and beef bone broth had flavorings and colorings. We don't need that. We don't need that. So I'm happy with my Costco bone broth. Rouse, they had Rouse marinara sauce, which again, I normally buy in bulk at Costco. I think it's cheaper that way, but great ingredients. If you're looking for a quality marinara sauce, that is definitely a place that they sneak in added sugars and bad oils. And then chicken, I did see this free range chicken breast. Now it's from Foster Farms. And if you have watched any of the documentaries, we don't need to get into it, but yeah, you gotta be careful with some of that stuff. If I can, I like to try to support local farmers. So you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If you're shopping at Aldi, you gotta get what you can find at Aldi. It was three massive chicken breasts for $8.98, which like, <laughs> A few years ago, it wouldn't have been that great of a price, but right now, that is a pretty dang good price. There you go, lots of great nutritionist approved items from Aldi. I was pleasantly surprised. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you shop at Aldi and if I missed any of your favorite items or if you try any of these and you enjoy them, let us know. And I would love to hear what other grocery stores you would like to see me do a nutritionist review of. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe if you want more support and encouragement on your wellness journey and check out these videos for more grocery hauls. I'll see you in the next one.